District Energy simply is taking a number of buildings and combining them with underground infrastructure to bring them heating and cooling. There's a lot of value that District Energy can bring. One of the biggest things we hear about is the space savings. So buildings no longer need to put their own mechanical equipment in their building. So they save thousands of square feet and they're able to take that real estate and sell it. Cities consume more than 75% of the world's energy, much of it for heating and cooling. District Energy can help them make more efficient use of local energy sources and get closer to achieving their decarbonization goals. The biggest benefit of District Energy is scale. It's the ability to aggregate demand, so you aggregate load across a whole bunch of buildings, and then you can access different technologies that you wouldn't be able to otherwise access in your own building. A simple example is deep lake water cooling. We can't build deep lake water cooling for one building, but we can for 100 in downtown Toronto, which is what we did. So it gives access to renewable energy at scale. Toronto's deep lake water cooling system is the largest of its kind, displacing 55 megawatts annually from the electricity grid. The project's operator, N-Wave, began as a city-owned utility providing steam heat to local buildings. The company expanded significantly under private ownership and now provides both heating and cooling to about 150 buildings in Canada's largest city. It's also developing a range of district energy technologies. In 2021, we were purchased by Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, and we're currently operating in a number of locations across Canada. It was important to us to invest in N-Wave really for a few, a few reasons. We found that, you know, it's great that they're in our, our backyard, and frankly, they're, they're a leader in Canada in, in providing district energy solutions. And we are also a global investor, and we believe they have the skills and experience that we can take them globally. N-Wave's projects include a geothermal energy system that serves hundreds of homes in Markham, Ontario, a project that converts municipal waste to energy in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, and in Toronto, a massive thermal energy storage facility that will be the first of its kind in Canada. One of our biggest challenges is climate change, and it's the amount of these storms that keep on happening that were once 100-year storms, but we have to think differently about, about our business with the frequency that they're happening right now, which is really important. So we've made adjustments to how we actually operate our business, how we develop the redundancy we have, so that we can continue to maintain the highest level of resilience and provide energy to our customers, which are critical customers like hospitals and data centers in downtown Toronto. From some of our customers, we've even heard that they reduce not just electricity consumption of their building, but also water use, and in some cases completely eliminate gas use, which is pretty incredible knowing that our whole lives we've relied on gas as, as a critical input into our buildings. Even as it helps its customers become more efficient, N-Wave is working to decarbonize its own operations. That includes adding an innovative, low-carbon heating facility at the company's Pearl Street Energy Centre in Toronto. The new plant will recycle waste heat to produce hot water via electrified technologies. The low carbon heating will be connected to the company's existing district energy grid. The effect of what we're doing at Pearl Street will be to decarbonize the equivalent of about 10 million square feet of commercial towers. So that's significant and we, if we can continue to scale and replicate that, it's going to be an amazing means to be able to easily decarbonize the downtown core. With N-Wave, not only do we have the opportunity to make a great investment, but we also have the opportunity to make a great impact. And what I find with our own team, they're excited about this because they realize not only are they providing great returns to the teachers, but they're also part of something that they believe in, which is helping decarbonization. And that is a shared vision that we have with N-Wave. We find whenever we're having meetings with N-Wave or talking to them about what they're doing, the pride comes out in terms of what they are doing, the innovative solutions they're finding, how they're helping buildings decarbonize, and that is a shared passion that, that we have and we're finding that that makes us a stronger company and we're working together with them to, to lead energy transition.